Nike Dunk Orange Lobsters. I, oh yeah, Ooh. I forgot to clean these. I kind of scuffed them up in Miami, so. Fun. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Back. I'm just playing. No, but back with another video. And I know why you clicked on the video, because you want to see the shoe collection and this and that. But you know, with having a girlfriend and all, we always have to go to Target. A pregnant girlfriend. So, I don't know. They just love Target for whatever reason. It's a well, we gotta get We got to get why. groceries and some stuff. So. Yeah, but we just are there like every day. Don't know how. But that's where we're going to go. So, we're going to take you guys with us. And we're going to force you to look at the BS that we got to get. So which one should we get? This one? Yeah. Okay. For the people that don't know, how do you pick like a nice apple? Pineapple. <laughs> Pineapple. Um, Same thing. The yellower it is. And also I have a trick for you guys. If you take this off and then you flip it upside down and put it in your fridge for like two days, it's like the best pineapple you'll ever eat. I hate coming to the cereal aisle because there's literally so many to choose from. Like. So I forget, they're, I don't know if they were like really called the UNC's or what, the powder blue, I don't know. I think the UNC's, but are the second ones? I don't know why. You thought these were like really cute, right? I still think they're really cute. I don't really like yellow that much, so I guess that's why I'm saying that. Yeah. If you can kind of, so I remember we got these matching and we had a friend that worked at the shoe store and she was nice enough to let us get her discount. I wish she was still there. But I don't know, I don't really like yellow. These Jordan 1 lows. I don't know what they call them. <laughs> I really forget. All right, these are one of her favorites. She says, this is also my favorite Jordan 1 low that she has because it's actually like the OG cut and all that. As you can see, these look way different than these and they're both Jordan 1 lows. But I don't know, I really love these. I wish I got these for myself too. These are the Jordan 1 Low Starfishes, and I love this shoe. <laughs> it is a really nice. I bought her these, the Jordan 1 Patent Breads, and she never wore them. I've worn them like once. When? I, I have no like. I'm pretty sure. She never wore these, she's lying. I laced them for- Because they're laced. I laced them for you. <laughs> yeah, know. she never wore these, y'all. So the next one is the Jordan 1 High Hyper Royal. Yeah, I love this still shoe. I remember we we paid resale, but we went for a really good price because we got. This was just beautiful. Like, look at it. Yeah. That is the blue gray. I love it. Yeah. Shoe is her first pair of Jordans. It was the UNC to Chicago's because if you know, he went to University of North Carolina College and then went and played for the Chicago Bulls. So that's why the blue to red. The next one. I don't think she's ever worn these in her life. Um, the Jordan One Pollens. Don't know why she got these. Cause you maybe not like them anymore. What did I do? I don't know, you said they were ugly. No, I'm not hating on them at all. She put the white, did they even come with white laces? Yeah. Or, so she put the white laces in here and they actually look kind of good with the white. I don't know. I think but, it's the black that throws me off. Yeah, like if this was white, you would like yeah. it more? But then it's like kind of like my Jordan low, so it's like. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know, they're cool. I feel like you just have to get the nice, like the correct outfit, I guess. Jordan 11 Cool Grays. The Jordan 11s come out like, for every Christmas, like right before every Christmas. And I feel like they're just a must have, like the whole family has to have them. I bought these for her and she never wore them either, but. Yes, I did. She wore them to take pictures with us, but she's never worn them on her own. So she must not like them. What do you rate them? Um, this is a classic, like an OG colorway, like. It's just, I'm not into like 11s. I feel like seven and a half. Man, I love Damn. Dunk cobalt. I still love those. They're a little creased because I guess, I, I don't know. She used to wear them a lot. So these are the Nike Dunk UNLVs. She has them laced kind of weird, so don't mind that. But do you remember? No, but these are cool. Something slight. You know, I like an everyday wear. She, these okay. are the Nike Dunk UNCs. These were very hyped. I don't know how much they're at right now, but even for her kid size 5Y, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm going to put it up on the screen. I don't know. Last time I checked, it was like 
at least three hundred dollars i don't want to be wrong but it was a lot whenever i wrote next we have the nike dunk triple pinks this was every girl's favorite dunk for a while aka the barbie dunks and if you everyone's favorite i do it the nike dunk pandas this shoe you can probably go get right now at the mall like just walk in the mall i bet they have it <laughs> they restock literally every day i don't know why nike has dropped like 10 million pairs of them they're the new air force ones if you don't have these already you either don't like them or i don't know these the nike dunk bone beige i believe they're called like I said, I sell shoes. So I had a whole bunch of these and she was like, oh my God, those are so cute, those are so cute. I want them. They're not that like, you know, impressive, but. Yes, they are. I guess she likes them, so if she had to girl, get them. you probably like those a lot. All right, so the Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0s. The, like shadow, the shadow ones are different. Me and her both have these. We got a matching set, but she, neither of us really wear them. I don't know, I really I like to just. Those. No, I have. So do you. I just don't like a lot, I guess. I don't know. I just really like to buy a lot of shoes and have them. And then like a year or two, three years later, you look at them and it's like, oh my God, I still have these. And like, it's like a whole new shoe again. That's, That's really I what right I like. That's when you're going through these for me. Yeah, see, it's like, oh my God, I forgot I had those. Like, it's a whole new shoe. I have the Jordan 4 Lightning 4s. If you know, I think the last time these dropped before these ones dropped was 2012. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna cut that out. Um, <laughs> But yeah, these are the Jordan 4 Lightnings, and it's just a nice shoe. She has never worn these still. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, look. I have, to, oh. No, she hasn't. No, I have. No, you haven't. I have, I just put those in there so that they don't like crease, I guess. Uh, you didn't wear these because I bought this shirt for you, and because you said that you didn't wear these because you didn't have nothing to wear with them. I bought your shirt and then you had a stain on it or something and you just never wore these. The Jordan 4 UNCs. So I worked at what? Champs, I worked at Champs when we both got these. We were super happy. Um, we got them on discount so really if you know if if you know you know back then when i worked at champs i got a 30 percent off so even on shoes like this i was what do you rate these uh, like a nine okay ten dollars <laughs> the jordan 4 military blacks i wish i kept a couple of these i'll put the picture somewhere up here on how many i had because i had a lot too but i just never kept them i don't know why but i really do love this shoe as well What do you rate this? 10. <laughs> a, a 10, of course. And she has never worn them. I don't know. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. Huh? Next Jordan 4 we have is, I'm pretty sure, the first Jordan 4 she's bought. Yes. And I bought them for a very hefty price. Shout out, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Jordan 4 Tope, or I don't even know how to pronounce this, so tope. I don't even care. Topes, Topes, Top Pay, Toothpaste, I don't know. Tope. But I really love this shoe too. I wish I got these, but I didn't because I didn't want to spend all the money on them. But I love this shoe. I was in love with those shoes. You see like the hint of orange. I love this shoe. Actually, the first shoe that I bought her, Valentine's Day, I think they came out the week of or whatever it was. And then I know they're red and white, so I just wanted to do something nice. So we all got matching shoes. I'm gonna put the picture somewhere. Um, but the Jordan 6 Carmine's. The first shoe he ever bought me. Yeah. Let me know how you feel about these. I like them. I don't wear mine anymore, but I like them. Personally, are like one of my favorite Yeezys. I wear the, or I used to wear these like literally every day after I got them. I was so happy and I got them for retail. But these are hers. Shout out to Mo. Um, I don't, I think she's worn these like once maybe. But the, the Yeezy 500 blush, you can just wear these literally with anything every day. It's like a light brown colorway. They're just beautiful. I got mine dirty, so don't do that. But yeah, I love them. I've worn those a few times. A couple times. Yeah. What do you rate these? 9.8. Okay. Next are the Yeezy 350 Belugas. These recently just dropped on the Adidas Confirmed app too. So... Price went down a little bit, but I like these. I didn't keep them for myself, but what do you rate these? Um, like an eight. Yeah, they're really comfortable too. If you guys will have these matching, but the Yeezy 350 breads. The last time these came out were, I think right before Christmas time or something like that. Again, I was working at Champ, so I got mine retail. We couldn't get them on discount, but I was happy to get mine. I had to pay resale. 
It sucks. Because I wanted them so bad. Yeah, she wanted them so bad, so you know I had to get them. But I've worn those quite a lot. I'm going to look up how much I paid for them, and I'm going to try to put it up here, but it was probably 300 Three something, I don't know. All right, this next one isn't like anything special or popular or anything, but I just really like these. So I seen them and I bought them for her with like a matching shirt and stuff. But it's just these white and brown Air Force Ones and they're literally just beautiful. I don't know, I like them. Growing up, that's like not all I wore, but growing up I had a lot of Air Forces and a lot of different colors. So it kind of just reminded me of that. I'm not gonna go over every single shoe cause like not all of them are special or stuff that you guys wanna see, but you know, just some regular everyday shoes. Like these Adidas, I really like these. She got them really dirty. <laughs> these Air Max 270s, you know, just something you gotta have, some Vapor Maxes. These were like over $200, that was crazy. But these are the essentials, everydays. If you do not have a pair of these, I don't know what you're doing. The Yeezy Slides, we have the Sloot colorway, cause she's a Sloot, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have the Sloot colorway and then we have the Pures. This is just a necessity. If you haven't felt these, you need to feel them. So go buy some. And by the way, they do feel different. These are in small. So if, I don't know, I'm like an 11, 10 and a half, but I got mine in an 11. So go up a size and they do not have half sizes. They only have full sizes. So if you're a nine and a half, get a 10. We have the foam runners. I forget what colorway this is because they literally have like a million and five colorways and they all look the same. She doesn't really wear these. I won these on the app a while ago and they're pretty cool. I know a lot of people call them alien shoes, but I mean, you can wear them in the water. Like if you want to go do anything, you can wear these four wheelers, dirt bike, jump in the water, adventure island. adventure island, whatever. You can put those on. Another one. And then, you know, every girl just has random boots and Tories and all the must have necessity stuff, but we're not going to get into all those. All right, so also if you've been watching, you know that we have a son on the way. He's being stubborn right now. He was supposed to come like two days ago. He's still not here yet. But we only bought like three hard bottom shoes for him so far because you never know how big they are when they're gonna come out and we don't really wanna buy shoes, then he can't fit them. So we're just waiting to see how big he is. But, but the Jordan 1 Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, I believe they're called. These are the new Jordan 1s, Spider-Mans that just dropped. The bottom, if you like put them in the light and then put them in the dark, they'll glow. Maybe I can put a video on, but these are very nice. And just look how small they are. These are 5C, like. They're so cute. Yeah, that's crazy. Put in three fire reds. I didn't keep these, but I do have a pair that look like them. So maybe we can both wear them one day. What do you rate these? Uh, nine. Jordan 4 Thunders that also recently just came out. I didn't keep these either. So we have no matching shoes yet. We're gonna to have to get some, but what do you rate these? Seven. She just don't like them, yo. <laughs> yeah, so we made our way to my closet. This is gonna take a while. I don't know, I forget. I think they only dropped on this Nike sneakers app, but, and you had to get exclusive access. It wasn't like, oh, they're gonna to drop tomorrow at 10 a.m. You know, be on there, go get them first come first serve. No, you had to get a notification basically saying that you were able, able to purchase them. I was using the bathroom at work, sitting on the toilet, and I looked at my phone and I had a notification from like five minutes ago saying that I was selected and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So I went on there, I hurried up and I got a size. So these are the Nike Dunk Lot 7s. And when you order them, you cannot choose the colorway. You just get a random one and you'll find out when it got sent to you. So you rate these, Joel? Um, eight and a half. I like those too. R.I.P. Virgil. He did, I don't know, he did something crazy with these. I love these. We have the off-white rubber dunks. I didn't. I haven't really worn these too much. I, I bought them off Goat, I think. Or no, I bought them off Rico. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I just thought these were pretty cool and I wanted them. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, what do you rate these? 8.8. 8.8, yeah, <laughs> they're pretty cool. I forget how much I paid for them, but. I never really wore them. I, I don't know, they're just cool. We have the UNC Dunks. You already seen this in her collection, but I got a pair too. I wore these a few times. Um, I actually won a raffle from Finish Line on these, and then I used a $20 off gift card or discount. So I got them for like 80 bucks, I think. 
Next up are the Nike Dunk Low Court Purples. I don't remember when I bought them, who I bought them from. I don't really wear these like that either. I wore them a few times, but just a nice little clean colorway because you've already seen them. But she also has these in her collection. We got matching pairs. I don't wear either of them like that, but it's a nice shoe. She actually got this for me for Christmas. Yeah, and I don't. I really asked for them and I only wore them like twice. So I just wanted them. Sorry that you spent your money. Next up, we have a women's exclusive because these only dropped in women's. Um, these are the orange pearls dropped in women's only. I wore these a couple times. I also got these for retail because my friend at the store hooked me up. So shout out to him. We have the Nike Dunk High Game Royals. This is the only pair of high dunks I have. Um, they're kind of slip on. I like the colorway I wore, but the Jordan one mochas. And if you guys haven't seen, there's about to be another shoe like this that comes out in uh, two months, I think. Or I don't know when. It comes out sometime soon. But if you missed it on these, it's called the Jordan one Palominos that come out in a couple months. I'll have them linked below Instagram if you need them. But I love this shoe. Warm a few times, you see. Just so pretty. The Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0s. These are obviously called the 3.0s because this is the third time that Jordan made the Shattered Backboard. Uh, a lot of people hate it on this like material, but I like it. I'm not going to lie. I think I paid like 330 a couple years back for these. Again, it was when I had a college refund check, so I thought I was balling a little bit. But I don't know. I like this shoe and the material. They're cool to me. Wore them a few times as well. Just cause you don't really see these any day, like every day anymore. Like you don't just see people every single day walking with these. So I don't know, they're pretty cool. I don't know how it worked, but she was begging me to buy these. So I bought them. The Jordan 1 Pine Green 2.0s. This is a very nice shoe. I like to wear these around Christmas time. You can tell why. They also, oh, I took them out. They also come with red laces. So it is perfect for like a Christmas outfit or wherever you want to wear it but I, you guys already seen these but again we got a matching pair of the patent breads um i wore mine a few times they're pretty nice i like them i like the material like i said just like the shattered backboard 3.0s but these are the patent breads what do you rate these like for me i guess not for you um i mean they're clean i'd say like a eight i seen both of these so i'm gonna just put them together like this i also got the hyper royals and damn <laughs> And the Shadow 2.0s. I love both of them. I've worn these more. Um, which one do you pick if you had to pick one? Uh, definitely the Hyper, the Hyper Royals. Royals. All right, y'all comment below which one would you pick? Shoes that I have that she doesn't. So the Jordan 1 UNCs. These dropped a couple years ago and these were going crazy. Everybody and their daddy wanted these. Um, just look at the material. Yeah, they're real. Um, <laughs> they still smell good. I wore them a couple times. These came out the these came out when I was working at the shoe store and like we almost had to fight for these. Like we had to do a raffle and it was just crazy. But I love these shoes. Retail, I didn't really care. The Jordan 1 Metallic Golds. I don't know why I got these. Um I just have them. And <laughs> Do I just you like I, them? Yeah, I, I don't know. I wore them like once, I think. Look, you They're got not one. Bad. I just like to keep shoes because sometimes like I, I might can't envision myself wearing these, but then in the future, I'm like, oh my God, like I have an outfit for these now. Like imagine wearing these to the Saints game or something. If I ever go to a Saints game, I don't know, but okay. You guys already seen these, you don't care, but yeah, whatever these are called again, I've worn these twice maybe, that's all. Next up, we have the Nike Dunk Orange Lobsters. I, oh yeah, I forgot to clean these. I kind of scuffed them up, scuffed them up in Miami. So sorry about that, but yeah, I got these on, or my mom actually won these for me on the sneakers app. I had put my like credit card in on her app and she won for me and I lost on my account, but I was really happy. I got the Nike Cortez Unions. Um, these weren't really hyped up, but it's just a different shoe and I wanted to be different, so I got it. It also came with some blue laces, which are pretty cool. I really bought these to wear to a shoe convention once, never wore them again, will probably never wear them again but they're nice. We have the Jordan 14 Black Ferraris. Now, I love this shoe. A lot of people don't have 14s like anymore. They don't really like 14s. It's just a simple all black, like different materials on this side. 
If you don't know, Michael Jordan loves Ferraris. This is where that comes from. They have the red Ferraris, the yellow Ferraris, and the black Ferraris. And I really want the red and the yellow to finish the pack. Christmas. Got these, and I never wore these either. I don't think I ever want to. I just got them because I thought they were cool. The Nike Air Force One Looney Tunes back when, or my fault. The Nike Air Force One Space Jams for the new Space Jam movie with LeBron. These had dropped, and if you look on their jerseys, I'm pretty sure they say Toon Squad, but this is just a clean shoe, clean colorway. Like I said, never worn, but has Lola Bunny on the front, Bugs Bunny on the front. I don't know, I love this shoe. What do you rate them? But I just feel like they're so easy to wear. The Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagines. It's just a really clean colorway. Like, just simple white, gray, with the off-white tab on the back, the little hints of red. I wear this shoe all the time. Next up, we have the Jordan 3, I think, Cardinals? I forget what they're called, but I call them the Cardinals. If you're an Arizona Cardinals fan, obviously you need to grab these. It goes perfect with their colorway. Nice shoe. Next up, we have the Jordan 3 Georgetowns. I wear these quite a bit, but simple, clean colorway. Wear this shoe with anything, really. I have the Jordan 12 Gym Reds. I forget what year these dropped, 2018. I might be wrong, but I love all like one colored Jordan 12s. I don't know, like I love the all red ones, all blue ones. I wore these quite a bit, beat them up. As you can see, I played ball in them a couple times, but I don't really wear these anymore. If they were brand new, I would, but I don't really like wearing like used, like to the eye shoes. So I kind of just keep them in my closet and let them sit up there. Next up is the Jordan 12 Con Concords, Dark Concords. I got these for a pretty good deal too. I don't really wear these anymore. I wore them a couple times to work, I think that was it, but but I'm gonna just throw a couple of the low tops in there. I don't really like low tops, but these are the Jordan 12 Easters that dropped like a year or two back. Um, it's a pretty, you know, standard shoe. There's nothing really special about it, except the box has like an Easter egg on it and stuff, which is pretty cool, but I don't know. These just don't, yeah, these don't, they're not like really nothing special about them. All right, so we have a very special shoe. Back in 2021, when the Bucks beat the Chiefs and won the Super Bowl, don't get mad in the comments, um, they had dropped, they actually dropped these beforehand, so it was rigged. Uh, they knew the Bucks were gonna win, but Jordan did something special and dropped these Jordan 12 lows for the Bucks in Tampa Bay. And that is what the confetti resembles on the inside. And then it says, if you can see that, 813 for Tampa Bay's area code. and. I don't really like low top Jordan 12s, like I said, but I thought since I'm from here, I just had to get them and it was something special. And then I know mine looks pretty ugly, but also you can rip it to like reveal confetti under it. So I just thought that was pretty cool. I don't wear these. I wore them a couple times, but I don't know. I just thought that was something cool to have in the collection, you know, down the road. All right, this is one of my favorite Jordan 12s that I have, the Jordan 12 University Golds. I wore these quite a bit. When these dropped, down here at least, these were crazy. Literally everybody wanted these. Like, it was just crazy, you had to be here. But I love this shoe, black and yellow, simple. Royalty Taxis. If you know the Taxis that dropped years, years ago, they remade them, but changed it up a little bit. This is a nice shoe. I wear these like quite often too, just because they're so easy to wear. White and black, can't go wrong. But not least, we have the Jordan 12 Reverse Flu Games. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them. They're cool. I wore them a couple times. I like them. They're nice. They're not nothing special or crazy, but nice shoe. So we have the Jordan 9 University Blues. I know a lot of people don't wear nines. A lot of people don't like nines. They look like boots. They feel like boots. This is the only pair of nines I have so far. I really don't wear them like that. I got them really just to have a pair of nines in the collection, honestly, but it is a nice colorway. If you like get in there, it's like sparkly and stuff in the back, they're nice. We have the Jordan 13 Starfishes. Um, I'm not a huge fan of 13s just because they're big, but they do look good with jeans. Just my opinion. Wore these to Miami. Wore these probably like 
twice. Don't think I ever wore more than that. I honestly forget what these are called. If you remember, comment down below, probably like Game Royal, something like that. But yeah, these aren't nothing too special too. I was just really buying like every Jordan that came out back then just cause I wanted to, but they're nice. I like them. Seven Pantones. Um, I got these for a really good price. I really love this color. I wore these one time, I think. I don't know what I did to them. I definitely need to go clean those, but look at this. The shoe, love the colorway. What do you rate these? Okay. Next up, we have the Jordan 5 Raging Bulls. I like these too, because like I said, I really like when shoes like are just all kind of one color in the suede. Really love this shoe. Next up, we have the Jordan 5 Top 3s because they took the top three colorways from the Jordan 5s that were people's favorite and put it all into one shoe. They have the grapes, the fire reds, and the metallic, the metallic silvers. And it, it says it in here too, the, the colorways that they picked from. I know it's backwards, but y'all can flip it upside down, do whatever you gotta do. Um, yeah. The Bel Air Jordan 5, shout out to Will Smith. Just a crazy, funky shoe. Like, I don't know why I got these. I like Will Smith maybe, I think. So, I don't know. Like, it's kind of hard to wear these. Are you, this is like a 70s retro, just, you know, disco dance colorway. They remind me of like- They're just crazy. Or like super exactly. Like just back in the day where they wear those long troop socks and like, you know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. Ask your mom. Um, <laughs> what, what, I almost said what colorway. What do you rate these? I like them because they're different. I'd say like seven Oh, good seven and a half. Little ones, dunks, whatever. But next up, we have the Nike Air Max 95 Gunsmoke Powder, I think they were called, colorway. I really like Air Max 95s, and I don't know, I just thought this was pretty cool. I don't really have any, too many pink shoes, I guess, in the collection, and these are just nice, you know? We have another OG colorway, the Jordan 6 Infrareds. I got these, luckily, sitting at the mall back in 2019, I'm pretty sure it was. Just black and orange. But, you know, nothing too crazy. Nike Air on the back. OG colorway, you already seen these. The Jordan 6 Carmines. Mine didn't come red. If you guys do know, a lot of the pairs that Nike sent out were bleeding, I guess. I don't know, none of mine were like that, so I'm happy for that. 6 UNC. Jordan knows what they're doing, because if they drop a UNC colorway, I'm buying it. So, I just love this color so much. Like, I don't know, how can you not like this? I remember I wore these back on my birthday two years ago to the casino, but what do you rate these? I like those, um, seven and a half. Seven point nine, you heard it here. Jordan six hairs. I don't know why I wanted these so bad when they came out. Um, the Jordan seven hairs is where this came from. They just put the colorway and stuff onto a Jordan six, but you know, Pretty nice, different colorways. I really loved this shoe at the time, but I think maybe because I got all of them on discount back then when I was working at Champ, so I couldn't really complain. I got all of them for under retail really, but. Like I said, I don't really like low top shoes like this, but I'm gonna start off for the Jordan 11s, the Jordan 11 Low Concord Bread. The Bread 11s and Concord 11s got together, had a baby, and this came out. Um, yeah, that's really all about this shoe. Next up, we have the Jordan 11 Jubilees. Um, this was the shoe that dropped for Christmas a couple years back. A lot of people weren't too happy about them because they wanted an OG colorway, which this is not just simple black, silver, white. Um, I don't know, I like them because I love black. That's like my favorite color. You'll always see me wearing black almost, but yeah. The Jordan 11 Cool Grays. I already showed these to you guys. I love this shoe. Um, I wore it a bit, but just a nice clean shoe that you should have in your collection. Just beautiful. So we have the last Jordan 11s that have came out so far, the high tops for Christmas time last year. The Jordan 11 Cherries. This, these also came out before, a long time ago, but they were the low top versions. This time is the first time that they've came out with the cherry colorway and the high top versions. I love this shoe just cause look at it. Look how it shines in the light. Wore these a few times as well, but I almost passed on these and I was like, eh, I can't. So I bought them. Last but not least for the Jordan 11s. This Your is my favorite, favorite shoe on the world. 
um the world. <laughs> this is like really what made me get into shoes i wanted the shoes i wanted this pair of shoes growing up my entire life didn't have the money to get them i started getting the money to get them and when they came out i won them on the app and i was super excited but there's like i don't care who you are there's zero way you can't like these if you don't like these i don't think you're like human i don't know but 10 out of 10 exactly 10 out of 10 just black red and white bread we have the jordan 4 air max 95 neon green i think they called them something like that they have crazy laces the jordan 4s usually don't come with these type of laces but these ones did maybe i'll put a picture of the shoe up if i can find it but these were created in the thought of the air max 95s i'll put a picture up so you know what i'm talking about but this just is a beautiful shoe it's a cool concept I don't really wear these. I again got these on discount, so I had to grab them. And yeah. Next up, we have the Jordan 4 Fire Reds. I also love this shoe just because of the colorway, the white, red, and black. You can never go wrong with that. Once you go black, you never go back. Um, look at it. Just beautiful. Nine and a half. Um, I couldn't take them off. I wore them like every day for like uh, two weeks straight. But love this shoe. She rates them a nine and a half, so they're good. Next up, we have the Jordan 4 Lightnings. I've already talked about these, so I'm just gonna show you. This is my pair right here, and it is what it is. Next up, we have the Jordan 4 Black Canvas. Like I said, I love black. I love things that are all black. Um, this is one of the top shoes I wear, just because of the colorway. But these dropped not too long ago, and yeah, I love this shoe. Now moving on to the Yeezys. I've already showed you guys these as well, but here you go. Just something really simple, black and red. Supply 350, that's all. Next up, we have the Yeezy Foam Runners Sand colorway, I believe. I already told you how I feel about these. They're pretty cool. They're my alien shoes. You can run in them, walk in them, slide in them, jump in them, whatever you wanna do. They're pretty cool. Warm a couple times, they're nice. Next up, we have the Yeezy 700 Inertias. This was the first pair of Yeezy 700s that I bought. These might be the first Yeezys I bought, actually. But these shoes are so comfortable. Y'all gotta try them. Ordered these off GOAT a while back. Don't really wear them too much anymore. Don't wanna get them too dirty, but love this shoe. We have one of everybody's favorite, the Yeezy 700 Wave Runners. She bought me these for Christmas, I believe like two years ago, but love these shoes. Got them, have them in the collection. They are super comfortable and yeah. Her collection, the Yeezy 500 blush. I wore mine a lot. I washed them a couple times, or I, like I hand washed them a couple times, but they're still a little dirty. I love this shoe. I just got these like a week or so ago whenever Adidas dropped them again. Cause if you guys know Adidas stopped sending Yeezys for a while, but they put them back on the app on the confirmed app like a week or two ago, whenever that was. But I love these shoes. Like I really have worn these almost every single day since I got them. All black, comfy shoe. I love them, can't go wrong. These are the Nike Dunks, the Yeezys, all that type of stuff that you guys wanna see. Uh, I'm not gonna go too into detail because I have a million other shoes, just like regular Vapormax Pluses, Vapormaxes, um, forget what these are called. Just, I have a whole bunch of shoes. I have sock darts, a lot of y'all probably don't even know what these are. I could really keep going. Um, I got Nike Shocks, I got Sperry's. Like I said, the list goes on. I have some New Balance back here. I have dress shoes. I'm not gonna get into that, maybe in a future video. Um, like I said, I have random stuff, just, I don't know, never even wore those. Just, I just got stuff.